New at nine tonight, a mother outrage after her young daughter was left inside a child care transportation van and had to walk for miles before getting help. Now that employee is facing charges. WGN's Jewel Hillary is live outside the Oak Park, Oak Lawn, I should say, police department with the story. Jewel. Hi, good evening, Micah and Ray. On Wednesday afternoon, mom Arturia Edwards went to pick her daughter up at a local after school program, but she wasn't there. After what literally felt like forever, the two finally reunited here at the Oak Lawn Police Department. After walking for about two hours across major streets and train tracks alone, it was scary because I never walk over a train track by myself. Eva Bailey, a CPS third grader, is grateful to walk hand in hand with her mom again. This big intersection that she had to walk past. Arturia Edwards says on Wednesday afternoon, her nine year old walked four and a half miles looking for help. That's because instead of taking Eva to a local park, the driver of Eva's after school van run by New Knowledge Learning Center in the 8400 block of South Kedzie stopped at home, leaving Eva in the van. She got out the car and went into the house and then she went, she got out of the house and she went into a black car and she left me in a white one. According to Evergreen Park Police, 61 year old Keithia Atkins was driving the van and is charged with endangering the life of a child. Investigators say Atkins entered her home in the 8700 block of Washtenaw just before 3 p.m. and left in another vehicle about 315. Police say Atkins went home because she felt sick. After waiting in the van, wondering what to do, Eva says she got out looking for help. Did Miss Atkins, did she, when she went into the house, did she say, hold on, I'll be right back? Did she, she didn't tell you anything? No. And then after I was walking for a long time, my hands, they was cold. Naturally, Arturia panicked when Eva wasn't at after school. And she says Atkins dismissed her calls. She's not answering the phone or whatever the case may be. I'm like, at this point, I feel like I'm blocked. I said, I gotta be blocked because it's going straight to the voicemail. Officials from New Knowledge Learning Center say they are approaching the situation with full transparency and accountability. A portion of a statement from the facility says, we are thankful that this precious young girl was unharmed in this unfortunate incident. Throughout our 17 year history, we've never had any prior child endangerment issues. This is ring video in Oak Lawn near 87th Street and 55th Court, where a good Samaritan finally let Eva use her phone and call police around 445. I was relieved. I was overjoyed. I'm really grateful that I'm back with my mom because I thought I was going to still be on the street. Now, Arturia says she was really caught off guard by what happened on Wednesday afternoon because she says up until then, she never had any issues with the folks at New Knowledge Learning Center. But she says from here on out, she will be picking Eva up from school and taking her to her after school program. Also, the folks at New Knowledge Learning Center say they have been in communication with DCFS and are cooperating with investigators. Reporting live tonight in Oak Lawn, I'm Jewel Hillary. WGN News.